these niggas like a willy nigga You a silly nigga in a hole I'm playing my mirror there So I can see myself Now he's a hashtag Now he's now a character Well, alright See, bitches are going to clean my room with me Now he's now a character But I'm gonna rant and shit Cause I got some shit to say First of all my clothes are everywhere, and I really need to wash my work clothes. What did I have to do? I had to do something. Where the fuck's my phone? Oh, here. Hello? Yeah. yeah, do you need to lift home? Um, yeah. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Did you find out what day? Yeah, the 20... I sent it to you, uh... Alright, well, I'm bringing my camera with me because I need a video to film. <laughs> Your room isn't going anywhere. Alright, well, I'm at the fun. Wow, that was really fucking. I didn't even know what that meant. Clean my room yet because we're apparently we're going to fucking DFO. I don't know why. And now I'm just out the front of my house, you know, just doing a couple of these and a couple of some of these and shit. Fuck the club up, fuck the club up, bitch. Fuck the club up, bitch. I'm turning it off. The party never ends. <laughs> What's up, bitches? So I was gonna clean my room, but then I ended up doing it off camera. <laughs> Too bad. But um, I still need to clean my desk and shit, cause my desk right now. And like, that is disgusting! But yeah, um, let's clean my desk. Scissors. Um, stole these from school. Now he's a container of makeup things, and I'm missing it. Um, yeah, wow, a lot's been going on. Um, not a lot with me, but you know, in the industry, there's a lot of bullshittery going on. It's been what, like two weeks, and Nikki's still going on. She apparently brought. Tiger onto um, the Queen Radio, and I mean, I'm loving the fact that she's really depending on this Travis and Kylie beef to uh, have people listen to her show. She's being like so triggered right now. Like, you just look like some sad bitch, you know, and like Travis, like, hasn't even said anything. I'm trying to get your like point across about how um he's selling fucking t-shirts and sweatshirts like shut up bro why are you so cut that he's doing what everyone else is doing number one billboard 200 with the albums and shit ariana grande is number one i don't know about the sales and that like numbers and shit but i wouldn't be surprised if an input to her sales was all her merch that she was selling for a tour that she hasn't even announced dates yet for. She's just looking dumb, bro. And having Tiger on fucking Queen Radio, like, you really just want to suck off Travis. Like, I swear to God. She was on Ellen as well saying, oh, I wasn't upset. And then two seconds later, when she's asking you how you were feeling then, and you have the balls to say, I wanted to punch him in his motherfucking face. Like, why do you want to punch him in the face? Because he's better than you. His album was better than yours. I don't know. That's annoying me. I already said what I had to say in my last video. And little Zan, bro. He might not be on Zanny's, but he's definitely on fucking something. 
I don't know why he's being so public about this stupid shit with fucking Noah Cyrus. She's saying one thing, he's saying another. Um, but he's assuming she's cheating when I wouldn't even be fucking surprised if he was cheating the whole time. And by the whole time, I mean the whole week they've been together. <laughs> mm. Mm. You's made your relationship so public. That's why, like, you's breaking up is so dramatic. Because we're all like, what the fuck? That was chat. <laughs> it was so dog, though, that he was saying, like... It was all fake, man. Like, Columbia Records, they set it up. This, that, like. Then shame, you should have said fucking no. You know? You should have said no. I don't want to be a fucking fake bitch. Because I like to sing about people being fake. And how I hate it. So, I don't want to be fake. But no. You chose to be fake. And if you actually liked her, why bother saying it? I'd understand, like, them setting them up, as in, like, introducing them to each other. Like, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I feel like that is probably what happened. Like, I get he has a very different fan thing than Noah, because she's just, like, Disney star's sister sort of thing. I feel like they blow, they both blew each other up. Like, because them two dating made them... Like, I don't know how to explain it because, like, I don't care that much to, like, go into it that much. What just annoyed me was that he was, like, acting like, oh, my God. She just used me this, that. And it's like, well, no. Her, your own record label used you both. She didn't fucking need you. She's got enough fucking connections of her own, bitch. Plus, I reckon she's telling the truth. I reckon he cheated on her because he's fucking done it before. He had a girlfriend like last year and he ended up cheating on her with ten mongoose a week before they'd even announced like made their relationship public. He was on a no jumper vlog talking about how So apparently my camera turned off at a very important key point of my argument. So I got you bitches a video, you're welcome. Oh, Every time I see you, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, those two girls, they, like, they were like, you wanna go to the club? And I'm like, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go, I'll, I'll go, you know what I mean? The previous night, I fucked Riley Reed. That shit was fire, yeah. So I had another night, um, I fall asleep, I wake up, these bitches just suck in my dick, bro. Oh, you woke up too? Both of them suck in my you dick. And then, like, a week later, you're announcing that you're making your relationship public? Like, not even, like, you eased it in. For the people you just went boom we're dating Lil Xan shouldn't act like he's someone that's like massive like I don't even like any of his songs he had one song with Diplo that I don't even like and the only reason why I know about it is because I watched the music video that was promoted a hundred freaking times and there's this one scene I think it's like the opening scene when like they're like panning around Lil Xan and then, like, you just see Diplo in the fucking passenger seat. I don't know why, but, like, that scene is just so funny to me. All I'm trying to say is, if you're going to be in the game like this, don't fucking play it like how you just did. Making it so public and shit, so she's fucking having an anxiety attack. With fucking Billy Ray Cyrus throwing your bong in the fucking garbage bin. Miley Cyrus is probably in fucking Bondi or something, being like, what the fuck is happening over there? Mmm. Oh, my kebab is nearly over. What else? Eminem, fucking, this, this nigga went hard, bro. Like, his album's fat. I haven't really listened to it. I've listened to, like, the G'd Up songs, where, like, he's diss people on that. I'm just like, fuck, that's funny. But, like, I assume it's just a thing now. Because, like, what, do you, like, I don't think he thought, like, his album was going to change anyone's mind. Because either way... We all talk shit about these people that they talk shit about, except we still like these people because of their music. Mm. I think he was just trying to prove a point of like, you know, do what the fuck you want, but like, you bitches better fucking grow up soon, bitch. Like, I mean, J. Cole went in. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of other people that are like, <coughs> whoa! Ready, ready? 
Like, I'm sure there's, like, all these other people that have, like, shaded the new rappers and shit. But I'm sure they're coming at them with, like, good intentions, you know? What does he even have to say anyway? Because, like, he came from exactly where they're from, you know, being the weird white kid that raps on the block. Yeah, that Machine Gun Kelly shit, bro. Like, I sort of get why he went so hard, though. Because at the time that Machine, that MG, ugh, the time that he had said, like, that shit about Eminem's daughter, like, I think apparently she was, like, 16 at the time. But I assume that he might have been as well, maybe. I don't know. How old is he? I think I just got fucking onion juice in my eye and now it really hurts. <laughs> Whoa, okay, he's really old. Well, he's not really old. But six years ago, he would have been 22 and she would have been 16. So, <laughs> that's like right on. Who the fuck is he anyway? All I know, didn't he date like Amber Rose? Did he date Amber Rose? He looks like someone that would date Amber Rose. Did he date Amber Rose? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to film this, me eating a fucking kebab at 11 o'clock at night. I haven't had the chance to make a video. And I've really been wanting to like actually like keep up with like a video every Sunday shit, you know. I, I've been trying to do every Sunday or Monday, but um, just this week, you know, I've been a bit all over the place, you know, plus I haven't even been doing much work, I've been going to work, and that's it, and no one wants to see me at work. And I think I just want to end this video off with, um, <coughs> like, this video, and, um, Nicki Minaj can suck my dick, bitch, because I don't give a fuck, bro.